this year for doing these kind of things with the Survivor Series. So I'll pick, well, you know what, I could pick three, I could pick four, who knows. I have some in mind to do. I did a series in 2016, so, but this was interesting. We have the first ever 1987 Survivor Series and holy shit, like, that's what this was, you know. And it's kind of like, I don't know exactly where it broke away in tradition-wise, like, it was just the first year was all these matches, were Survivor Series matches, which is basically, uh, you know, but... This was a good show, and you know, a good first show at that. Like, when you look at the Royal Rumble, it was, well, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, were televised, and they had no idea how far they were going to go. We didn't really know what the concept was going to be, but with Survivor Series, it almost seems like down the line, it was kind of fast backwards, but... Your Edward Field Coliseum in Ohio, which I'm not sure if that place is still around, but this was a good show. And I mean, the first match, yeah, Brutus, Beefcake, Jake Roberts, Jim Duggan, Randy Macho Man Savage, and Ricky Steamboat. How fucking interesting. Macho Man and Ricky Steamboat on the same team. I mean, a few months before that, they had their epic WrestleMania match for the Intercontinental title. So, anyways, they defeated Dangerous Danny Davis, Harley Race, Hercules Hernandez, the Honky Tonk Band, and Ron Bass with Bobby Heenan and Jimmy Hart. Of course, Miss Elizabeth was in the face corner. This was an interesting match. You have Harley Race. He was... I don't even know what happened. It was basically Jim Duggan and Harley Race. And he double count out. You have Ron Bass. He was eliminated by Beefcake. You've got Beefcake eliminated by Honky Tonk Man. Danny Davis eliminated by Jake Roberts. Hercules by Randy Savage. And Honky Tonk Man and I guess Randy was at a count out. And the sole survivors, Macho Man, Jake Roberts, and Ricky Steamboat, not a pair, but pretty cool. You have the women's Survivor Series match. You got Fabulous Moolah, Jumping Bomb Angels, Rockin' Robin, and Velvet McIntyre, which I have no idea of. Versus Don Marie, no, not that Don Marie, Donna, Christian L, the Glamour Girls, and Sensational Sherry. And yeah, 
So this match, you got Donna, who was eliminated by Velvet. Don Marie, who was uh, eliminated by Rock and Robin. You have Rock and Robin, who got eliminated by Sherry. Sherry by McIntyre. McIntyre by Lalani Kai. And Lalani Kai by Itsuki Yamazaki. Judy Merton was eliminated by Nario Piatero. And yeah, the Jumping Bomb Angels won this match. Again, you try to pay attention to some of it, but it just seemed like, yeah, it was kind of like a scramble in a way. It was hard to keep up, basically, but this match was a 10 on 10, so like a take, it was basically a take team. There's the British Bulldogs and the Killer Bees and the Fabulous Rujos and Strike Force and Tito Santana and the Young Stallions who defeated the Bolsheviks, Demolition, Dream Team, which was Dino Bravo and Greg Valentine, the Hurt Foundation and the Islanders, Haku and Tama. With Bobby Heenan, Mr. Fuji, Jimmy Hart, Johnny Valiant, and Slick. So, that was actually pretty cool. You have Boris, who got eliminated by Tito Santana. There's Jacques Rougeau, eliminated by Axe. And Smash was disqualified. And then you have Tito Santana, eliminated by Jim Neidhart. Dynamite Kid was eliminated by Haku. Greg Valentine was eliminated by Paul Roma. Then you have Bret Hart who was eliminated by Jim Brunzel. And Tama who got eliminated by B. Brian Blair. Basically Young Stallions and the Killer Bees won this match. Then you have this match. So the only 10 on 10 match was this last pre, you know, whatever. Last match, you have Andre the Giant, Butch Reed, King Kong Bundy, One Man Gang, and Rick Rude with Bobby Heenan and Slickster. They defeated Bam Bam Bigelow, Don Morocco, Hulk Hogan, Kim Patera, and Paul Orendorf. Mr. Wonderful, who had all over Humper Dink in his corner. Got Butch Reed, who got eliminated by Hulk Hogan. Yeah, Kim Patera eliminated by one man gang. Paul Orendorf was eliminated pinfall by Rick Rude. Rick Rude eliminated by Don Morocco. By the way, that was the first pinfall of the night, I believe. Don Morocco by one man gang. If Hulk Hogan was a count out. So, you have King Kong Bundy and one man gang. I'm not sure how this worked, but that was a pin fall on Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh no! Bam Bam Pin King Kong Bundy and One Man Gang. Okay, cool. Then you got Andre the Giant, who eliminated Bam Bam for the win. So Andre the Giant won this match. So, yeah, 1987. That was pretty cool. I mean, I know I. I try to pay attention to this show. It was a scramble. It was all over the place. But it looked like a good show. It looked, uh, yeah. And again, you know, I'm not quite sure what the prize was to get a future WWE title shot. I'm not quite sure. WWF. But this was a good show nonetheless. So, yeah, there it is. All right, and talk to you later. Right. So you know that them cutting WCW was a long time coming. I don't think that's the case at all. If you look at some of this earlier interview, that.